So this is going to have to be like a, a two-part series because I'm an idiot. And I kind of just started this one. I'm not going to be like, oh, hi. You like my hat hair, even though it was a hood. Anyways, I'll probably just separate them by days. Though, so that way we actually have the likelihood of somebody watching the first one into the second one. Who knows? Anyways, regardless, you know how I was saying about I would tell you when I was going to hit the stop button? I went to put my phone down so I could take my jackets off so I could show everybody what I was talking about with my beard. And like an idiot, I hit the stop button instead of the pause button. So, this is the second video because I just hit the stop button. It was just funny that literally for a minute or two there, I literally rambled on about how I could possibly stop the video at any moment. But I would tell, probably more than likely tell you before stopping it. And then I stopped it without even letting myself know it was coming. So, um, but... As I was talking about my beard, I my beard is is growing as beards grow, and I like I really like the long beard. Like my license, I can't show you because it has information on it that I don't want people to have. But if I could just show you the license picture somehow, maybe one someday I will. It was when I had my big big beard. I said I don't know how much like went. I, didn't, I haven't recorded a ton, so I don't know if my big, big beard ever made it onto a video prior to it being shaved. But I went a year and like eight days, I think it was, before I shaved it. And I was really proud of myself because I'd only ever gone one year one other time. And that was like in high school or, yeah, right around high school era. And I got bet to do it, so that's why um, I did it. I, uh, I, I think it was a hundred bucks to be honest. My friends can like, I won't say they're jealous because they're definitely not, but I have a lot of friends who unfortunately cannot grow beards like due to their DNA, like their parent, their dad doesn't have a beard and his grand, their grandparents don't have beards. And so just, you know, genetically sometimes you unfortunately just don't have that ability to grow a beard. And so that would be why my friends are quote unquote jealous of not having a beard. It's just the mere fact that they can't grow one if they even wanted to. And uh, uh excuse me. I just set the phone down. When I don't hold it you can actually see me. Shut this door. Not so much worried about somebody coming down at three in the morning or two in, what yeah I think it's almost I don't really know what time it is it might be two in the morning who knows it's late and uh yeah so I mean uh if I let the beard go it goes crazy it just explodes right and I like it don't get me wrong I really like the scruffy I don't give a fuck. I let my beard do whatever the fuck it wants to look. That's what I call it. If you didn't know, that's what it's officially called. Um, don't ask me to repeat it because I probably couldn't say the exact same thing again. But, uh, but you know, I admit that when it comes to presentation, probably not the best, you know? I mean, I'm sure a lot of, you know, I'm a single 30-year-old male who has zero game as much as maybe some of you out there might be like man look at this young kid you can sit here and talk carry on conversation He's somebody i can enjoy watching stuff like that i have no i'm not with no that's a whole different discussion for another time i mean yes whereas i am friendly and i can talk with absolutely anybody male or female the problem is i usually generally don't catch the signs that I'm being hit on until like after and not like close after like later on I'll be thinking about it and I'll be like oh wait a minute and then and then I, I realize I'm an idiot and this is probably why I, I have zero dating life in my life that and, um, a lot of it's weird it's like a catch-22 you got those girls out there that complain constantly that they're sick and tired of everybody all these guys constantly hitting them up on facebook you know 
whether they're just trying to get something or um, actually trying, you know, one way or another, they always just complain that they're sick of it. But then what is a guy like me supposed to do? I don't go anywhere. I'm never going to meet anybody. I'm just, I work and I sit at home. And so that leads me with the internet or dating on the internet, which I can't really say like dating on the internet, but I mean like meeting a girl on like some form of dating site on the internet. And when it comes to, uh, you know, it's 2021 and I'm 30 years old. And like I said, I don't do nothing. I'm not, I don't try very hard with presentation. And uh, so I could understand that, you know, me hitting on a girl probably doesn't work when you have a beard that just does whatever it wants to, or let, I let it do whatever it wants to. So it'd be really nice if I could find somebody who would let me pay them like, you know, 10 to $20. And honestly, $20, I feel like it's a lot of money, but at the same time, you know, well, if I got to pay $20 to get my beard trimmed, I'll fucking do it. But I would like to have somebody that would just be able to like, because I want the length. I want it to keep growing. I want it to keep getting longer, but I still need it to be tamed. I need it to look presentable. I want people to look at me and be like, not only is that a big ass beard, it's a very well kept beard, not the craziness that I have. So I'm probably just going to shave this beard that I have growing right now and shave it down because as much as I do want to try to figure out like whether I can find somebody I know through Facebook or just having to actually go to like a barber shop and or hair salon and having somebody physically trim my beard for me, you know, I figure I'll just let that be figured out later in the summer. And that for right now, because it is about to be warm weather, or at least start to warm up to be warm weather, I could shave it down and let it be short again. By the time it would start to get long, it would still probably be pretty warm outside, but it would be to the point where I'd only have a few more months until it would be cold. So um, I just would start, I would do that. Plus my other thinking about it is the fact that I don't, have mo the same feelings as most people when it comes to the whole COVID thing. I have no problem going out in public. I have no problem being around people, whether they have a mask or not. Um, but I feel like with everything still being like half open, like some things are open where some things aren't, or, or maybe they're half open. They're doing like short day, I, whatever, you know, there's still a lot of craziness going on with COVID. So I figure I would just, Instead of calling around and trying to find somebody who's willing to trim my beard for me every, you know, probably would have to be every couple weeks. Um, you know, right now might not be the best time because, you know, if shit goes worse, it could all shut back down again and, and then I won't be going. So, <clears throat> so if I think in the, the full safe you know, and there's no way I'm going to remove all of it. You know, I'll, I'll leave like half an inch or so, which, you know, is, is like this long compared to the this or this long that it is right now. Um, so it is a lot going to be, I'm probably going to shave about two inches off. But um, like I said, it will give it three months to grow back. And, and as much as you might think that I'm that I'm lying, this, this isn't even three months. Well, it's April, so I think it is four months. Yeah, so I lied. It is this is four months. Okay, so it was shortly after New Year's when I shaved my beard. Um, and even at then, I didn't shave it super low. I only sh I shaved it down to being about half an inch, but. I'm just not coordinated enough to trim it on my own. And I hate this. I hate the mustache, okay? I know it's weird, picky weird for somebody to sit here and complain about their beard into a camera, but 
you got to realize that as I'm recording this for you, as I take selfies, as I look in the fucking mirror, I'm also looking at this goddamn face. And with this curly, long-ass hair that needs to fucking go, and this gnarly beard that I love to death that also needs to be tamed. So you can see, just see how this is like, this stuff's all like stuck out the side over here. And then this is all just, you know, this all just needs to be trimmed down. And then this needs to be the same length, but it just needs to be, you know, uniformly cut to be, you know, looking good. And not, like I said, just not like the craziness that you see. And the mustache, if I remove the mustache, then I look Amish, which don't get me wrong. If you're Amish and you're watching this, then I don't know how you're Amish because I don't think you're supposed to be able to use electrical things but at the same time nowadays everything changes so who knows anyways i'm not saying anything wrong with being amish but i don't want to look amish and the beard is just too it grows the the mustache grows as thick and fast as the beard does and i get this big old nasty thing it's always getting in my mouth when i'm eating or up my nose and making me sneeze it's quite annoying so, I would also like that to be trimmed. Yep. So, it's been 12 minutes. I'm trying to make these videos shorter. So, probably just means I'm going to go. Really hope you enjoyed me rambling about nothing like I always do. I think that's literally all I've ever done. Sometimes when we talk about dentures, I had a point. Sometimes other times we talk about things that would have a point. But... I think the majority is that I just pull the camera out and I literally like a crazy person. I talk to the camera knowing that somebody on the internet eventually will watch this and then I'm talking to you. But for the moment, I'm just a crazy person sitting in this room talking to a camera. Yeah. All right. I got to eventually do some work. I don't know what time it is, but I have to do it around like the two-ish mark and it's probably around there now. So it's where I got to my moose over there and and get some stuff done but hey guess what if you like the video you should leave a like and if you uh i'm not gonna keep doing that because i don't do well with spinning a lot uh but if you like the video you should like the video and if you want to you know subscribe to keep on t i don't even want to say it anymore because it's like i'm so infrequent with my videos it seems such like a robbery of like subscribe to my video videos and, and then three months from now you'll get another one and three months we're gonna you know if you want to you know what to do you know you either subscribe or you don't hit the bell i don't fucking care hit the like button if you liked it if you didn't like it i'm sorry i don't know what i did wrong leave me a comment below and telling me what you want me to do instead why is my eyes so bloodshot looks like i got punched in the face i have to go look in the mirror all right guys i'll talk to you later have a good night